but just the maybe salient points that you really hope sunk in uh, to the audience members about why expectation management is so important and what it can achieve. So why it's important is because for the relationship between the advisor and the client to develop, it is very, the, client, the advisor must understand how the client thinks and the, what motivates the client. Because if the client's expectation of what the advisor can deliver is mismatched, then we wind up with the client being dissatisfied. And obviously a dissatisfied client is not going to stay with the advisor, he's going to move on. So advisors need to understand not just about the products and maybe the services that they're selling, but they also have to understand the motivation and clear uh, understanding of the attitudes and the objectives that the clients have so that they can properly frame what they're presenting to the client and then avoid at any stage later on a dissatisfied client. If expectations are met, the client will be satisfied. If they're not met, the client will be dissatisfied. And I suppose really what the advisor should seek to do is to try and surpass the expectations, to deliver more than what was promised, so that the client then feels that they are getting a better service than what they had expected themselves. Great. There's a lot of technology, uh, technological disruption going on in the industry right now. Uh, some advisors feeling unsettled about robo-advisors, uh, so-called uh, do-it-yourself uh, financial investing. Um, can you speak to why that may not be necessarily the end of a human advisor and, and maybe uh, why expectation management can help uh, uh, kind of settle the uh, maybe uncertainty that some advisors, uh, some uncomfort they have with the new technology and, and, and how to go forward embracing uh, the new technology but not necessarily fearing it? Okay, well, I, I think first of all it's inevitable that there will be a robo-advisors, although maybe the term robo-advisor is incorrect. It is more automation of the interaction between the client or the end user and the provider. And in this case, we're talking about the provider of a product. But also for the advisor who is offering the advice to the client, um, it's very important that the advisor realizes that the next generation of clients are more technically literate than the generations that have gone before. They will tend to seek uh, advice or information, first of all, online. Now, they will call it advice, but really it's just information they're seeking. And if an advisor has um, a good enough relationship with the clients, they should not fear the client looking online to get some information. Because really, a robo-advisor, can't, it, it, you can't replace the human interaction 100%. When an advisor and a client are sitting together, the advisor will frame questions to the client based on the information that the client has brought back. With all of the software algorithms and the artificial intelligence in the world, you cannot replace the interaction that one human has with another. Now it might, it might migrate onto an online interaction, so it might be face-to-face -face using a, a video conferencing or it might be some chat rooms and so on, and then occasionally some face-to-face -face meetings. So I, I, I think it's inevitable, it's going to happen. Technology is, is catching up. The next generation are moving more online, so they're going to demand this. But if an advisor wants to make sure that they're embracing this correctly, what they will do is they will integrate the technology into their process with their client, automate the parts, for example, like data capture, the fact-finding process that they might go through, automate the parts where it might be the risk profiling that they're doing, so you have some psychosymmetric uh, analysis going on. But understand that they, the entire process will not be automated, and they have nothing to fear if, if they build on the relationship with the clients. And expectations management comes in there. If, if at the outset of the relationship with the client, they put in place that this is what you can expect from this interaction, part of it will be online, part of it will be face-to-face, -face. then the client knows what they expect, then the client is, is going to be satisfied with that.